Okay. Hi, this is Prith from 8110B. And I'm Carter from 8110C. This is our 8110 robot explanation video. So with our bot, we decided to go with a uh, 360 RPM. And originally we were gonna do a six motor drive with, um, so that our flywheel is only um, 11 watts, but we actually had to bring it down so our flywheel could be 22. So we only had a four motor, so it burned out pretty fast. And actually we still have the, um, the motor caps for the six motors, just because they're, they're in a really awkward place to take out. So it, really we didn't see any point in taking them out. And then just had a lot of things mounted really low. So like our um, tank and our battery are mounted pretty low. Uh, from there, we had our flywheel. It's on this bottom stage. It was just a simple uh, five to one with a 600 RPM. So it was just a 360 RPM or uh, 3000 RPM on the flywheel. And then we also had the uh, latex band just to keep it from um, expanding. And then um, that top flywheel. So we originally wanted to um, chain the entire flywheel together. So it would allow us just to run the entire thing on uh, 11 watts. But what would, uh, what would happen is, um, uh, so what would happen is, uh, it would actually hit the first, um, the first flywheel and it would slow down the entire system. Um, and then we wouldn't have any, uh, we wouldn't have any power, uh, to actually shoot it very far. So it would, it would land like maybe a tile and a half away. So we had to, um, change it to a 600 RPM and then I actually to shave down a high strength just because I didn't have a low strength in my house. Uh, it would just be five to one and then this is a two to two just because I also didn't have um, eight to six piece brackets in my house. Um, and then yeah, this, so this one at the same speed is uh, slightly bigger. So I guess it, um, it moved faster than the bottom but we didn't find any problems with that. Um, I guess yeah, our hang right here it was just as simple like as an ace hang. We actually threw all the bands on at MOA just because um, we noticed uh, some teams had a similar thing uh, and it just kind of gave us a little bit more grip to stay on. Um, like all the uh, supports and everything just not very well done. Um, just like a simple uh, one to one with uh, the intake. Um, so yeah, we did 600 RPM intake, just the like band rollers. Um, and we originally had uh, 600 RPM, but with uh, two inch, or yeah, two inch lug squeals. Um, a lot like a, spin up intake from last season. It was really, um, it was really fast. But while building this robot, um, part of a, like a Q and A was answered that basically said, you couldn't take a tri ball and uh, load it in like that because it would be hitting the ground and uh, it really wouldn't be considered onto. So we uh, tried a couple of things with the intake and then I actually built this bar. So what would happen if you drove up and um, it'd be hitting, it'd just be hitting with a standoff just because, um, this doesn't go down quite as far, and then the stand-up also gives us like a ton of room to um, play with, so we could be anywhere from like there to all the way out here. So it was like a lot farther than teams that had to just like park right up against the uh, bar, and it would allow us to just to put a tri ball right there, and shoot it out over. It wasn't the best aiming right there, but and then it was just on a, a double acting. I had a regulator on it just so that it can. Um, break this because I kind of built it in a rush so it doesn't very well build and you got it really beat up at MOA. Um, yeah and then with the intake and everything it seems a little counterintuitive but there's actually um, there's actually a dead zone between the uh, intake and the flywheel. Um, part of this is just so that um, it wouldn't get so the tri ball and the intake it didn't get uh, stuck in this top flywheel um, because then we'd have to spin the flywheel to get it out and just um, it's a waste of time. So it kind of just balanced on these rubber bands that we had down here to um, hold everything in place. Um, so that way it could, oh, got put on. it could just be um, into, uh, pushed out really fast. I am not the driver. I've, we haven't touched these robots since the MOA, so I'm a little rusty. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Okay, so uh, let's start off with the drivetrain. I ran a 600 RPM direct drivetrain on 2.75 inch wheels because I wanted it to be super low. 
and like it's just directly connected like that and because we don't have gears we were able to fit it into a two hole gap by shaving down the flanges like as you can see it's like thinner because i just cut the 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 the, the, the down and and th th this just allows the wheel to fit and because of this our whole chassis was uh 21 holes wide which just made it really easy to do that uh then we did this style of kata just because it was easy to fit and it's pretty fast it shot at max speed it shot one acorn every two thirds of, of a second it's just uh 100 rpm mo mo motor here on a 12 tooth slip which i think it has 7 teeth on it or something like that in into a 36 tooth gear and it's a 33 rpm it was fine for it uh there's a piston here just for power and so that when we're not use using the cata we uh, we can re re reverse the direction of the pit piston so then we can e easily fit into the goal without it on. As you can see, we drive in, D score, whatever. We uh, did, did, did that like four times at MOA. Uh, for the catapult itself, we have these pieces of polycarbonate, which just it made it so that the positioning of this acorn was constant every time. And we have this flex wheel here ju just to in in increase friction just so that it would like while it was shooting it it would stay in the cata longer Bec because we saw issues of it like slipping out beforehand uh at Mall of America we got a acorn that stuck inside here against 81x and we spent like 30 seconds get it getting it, it it out so 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 then after the match we just put put put, put these zip ties on so that an acorn physically can't like get in there and, like it can get there but then we we can kind of just shake shake it out uh we used to have a, a intake here use 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 using 5.5 watt motors and they would like fit in that under that C channel, right, 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 right there, just to get it like that. And I, I don't know, in, intake just never worked. I, I, I'll, I just never put time into it. And the thing is that here, it 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 was so close to a uh, dual to the five 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 point eight inch height restriction that we had to drill out holes and make a custom bear 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 bear, bear bearing just with like a. Uh, washer there it's a uh, friction fit right now but it was constrained on both sides so then it physically could, couldn't come over but the intake just like nad nad nab it works so then instead of that we just put a claw on so you can see it just goes there and turn whatever, whatever it just works oh uh for the cata itself uh, it was just so low profile that I had to take a 60 tooth gear and just cut it up so so that I can mount, mount it onto the thing. For the hard stop, uh, this thing actually rubs against the goal and I just didn't have the height to make a proper hard stop so I just kind of cut up flex wheels and these kind of like they fold down under like that. And yeah, I don't know. the. Descoring was pretty good. It's not worth building a bot this like this hard to make, but it's whatever. I had the brain here just it was un un under the intake, now it's not under anything. Okay, canister here, all the new medic wire well wire well wiring is between that. That's why it's so ugly. There's a bunch of TT fittings. Bad bad it was mounted better, I just don't wanna do that right now. And then, then well next up are the wings. I just used a uh, high strength uh, axle with with a holes drilled 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 into it. Where where wingspan was a 30, 35.5 inches. We could essentially block off the whole goal because the acorn can't fit like either side here. So this worked out. Uh, I ju I just had this from last year and I thought I could use it on this. 
Uh, I stole the mounting and and everything from from an eighty eighty one ten V because they just got it what it what working. So I was like, it it's not exactly the same, but it's similar. Uh, because of the holes drilled 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 into the high strength, the actual eye was worried about them breaking. So the, so then I just. Uh, drilled two more tinier holes for uh, for uh, zip ties, and then I just put two lock bars there just to uh, sandwich it, and it just stopped it from uh, breaking. Ever I know eighty eighty I know eighty 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 one X broke their wings in in a match. We kind of got the whole bot design from them, and and then we just made it out our own, and it just as for the uh the hard stop for the wings i just used a zip tie because i don't have space for the metal because i want to have it thin so then i tried string and the string just kept on breaking so then i just attached this a zip tie in there and it held on pretty well uh okay so for for driver kick control because i had a bunch of different functions i used a, a shift key so then the top left one is just the data shooting and then i have the top this one was it was initially for uh, in intake in and then the bottom one was for intake out but 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 then with the claw i just used one and then and 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 then l2 or the l bottom bottom one is a shift key and here, when I press the cat ba 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 button, it now goes reverse. So just because I don't need it all the time, but it was nice to have. And I have the top right, right, right one with the shift was just for the cat down, so then I could fit on under. And then shifting this was just a toggle for the wings. Thank <laughs> you.